Hello, and welcome to another edition of Capper Comparison Picks. On the road, back in a hotel for work, but nonetheless, the content still has to be made, so welcome. Today, we'll be covering some more prelim fights for UFC 278 taking place this weekend in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, be sure to check out the video I did yesterday where I covered the early prelims. I'm going with the order on topology, so if it gets changed, you know, don't crucify me. Um, so, starting off, actually I'm not, I'm going to go out of order because some of these are just clear too, too chalky to put toward the end of the show. So I'm going to start this show off a, a little bit out of order. I'm going to start this show off with a fly, female flyweight fight between Miranda Maverick taking on Shanna, the Shanimal Young. So Miranda Fear the Maverick comes in with a record of 10 and 4. She's a whopping 6 to 1 favorite. It's minus 600. You guys see that? Hope you can. I can't see the camera, so I'm assuming everything's... I forgot my tripod too, so I got it makeshift sitting up there. Hope it stays. But um, uh, let's talk about Miranda Maverick, the favorite in this fight first. Fear the Miranda Maverick is uh, coming off a win against Sabina Mazo. Before that, she took two losses back to back. She lost to Aaron Blanchfield, which I hold Aaron Blanchfield, boom, up here. I think she's like, she's a contender. She's top five in my book. Before that, she lost to Macy Barber. That was a split decision loss, which should have, that was a robbery. It should have went Miranda Maverick's way. Ask anybody that <laughs> that watched the fight, they'll agree with me. Prior to that though, she does have wins against Jillian Robertson. Jillian Robertson by unanimous decision, and she beat Leanna Jojua by Dr. Stoppage round one. Um, she trains out of Elevation on Instagram. She's in spotted training with Lauren Murphy, of all people, very good for Miranda Maverick. She started out her career as an Invicta killer, where in Invicta she does have a win against Shanna Young, but it was during like the Phoenix Series tournament, so it was exhibition. But um, nonetheless, we're going to talk about Shanna Young anyway. Shanna Young now training out of Syndicate MMA, which is good. On um, Instagram, there is photos of her training with the coach Eddie Cha. Oh, I'm sorry. Ugh. <laughs> coach John Wood. That's uh, Joanne, Joanne Wood's husband. Joanne Calderwood, formerly Joanne Calderwood. And also shows her with uh, Ramona Pasquale. Interesting enough. Um, the Shanimals coming off a nice win over Gina Mazzani by TKO round two. Gina Mazzani just horrible gas tank. Just had nothing left in her. No energy left. Shanna managed to uh, get, take care of her round two. Before that, she lost to Stephanie Edgar ground and pound round two. Miss uh, No Tap managed to get that done without having to worry about tap or not tapping. Uh, she finished Shanna Young round two, ground and pound. And before that, she lost her UFC debut to Macy Ch Chazon by unanimous decision. And prior to that, she was an Invicta girl, as I mentioned. In when she was an Invicta, there was a Phoenix Series Two. It's called Phoenix Series is like a, a tournament with like I think one round matches. Yeah, that's all it took though. Miranda Maverick got her in a rear naked choke in round one in the Fury's <laughs> the, the Invicta Phoenix Series fights. Um, Shanna Young will have a four-inch height advantage over Fear the Miranda Maverick. Now we're just going to throw up the cappers and where, what they're taking here. Uh, this is where it becomes real awkward because I got to hold this right at it. It's not stationed on the wall like at home. But it should be pretty easy because six to one favorite, bleh, minus 600. There's no value in there. I wouldn't put Miranda Maverick in a parlay. I wouldn't do anything. Maybe a full card parlay. That would be about it. Because Shanna Young, the Shanimal, I mean, it is a fight when it comes right down to it. So plus 450. I'm not going to bet her either, but I'm just saying 
don't waste your money betting this fight either way. Okay, Miranda Maverick taking her. We've got some um, lead MMA. What's going on? Bleed. I will put the link to all these cappers in the description. I urge you guys to check out all their shows. They're fully, they, they got, in order to make my show, you gotta know what the hell you're talking about and you have to be pretty good at it. And you gotta be entertaining, otherwise I'm not gonna watch you, you know? Um, the MMA guru with the beanie from uh, the UK is also taking Miranda Maverick. He specified, he said rear naked choke. Round one, okay. Well, submission round one it is for the MMA guru. Then we've got Cody from Flood Money. Also taken here the Miranda Maverick. We got the MMA fortune teller. He's a smart feller. The MMA fortune teller, the teller, the teller. <laughs> and Artem MMA analysis finish, up, finish off the full cap capper consensus where Artem is saying by decision. So that's everybody making this a full capper consensus. I'm not going to do the dance because it's minus 600. What else did you think? Do you think anybody in the world besides... Shanna Young's husband is going to be taking Shanna Young. No, her husband, her son, and her teammates over at Syndicate are probably the only people taking Shanna Young here. But who knows? It is a fight. It might. I mean, she is coming off a win where she beat Gina Mazzani, but Gina Mazzani's got the worst gas tank in the female flyweight division. So do it what you will. I'm also. I can't go against the capper, major, capper consensus pick here. I think um, Miranda Maverick is going to take care of this wicked easily. I don't know if she's going to finish Shanna Young. Shanna Young is uh, she's in pretty good shape. I'll give her that. So I think uh, I'm going to take Miranda Maverick by decision. It is a flyweight female fight. Miranda Maverick will use her wrestling to keep control of the fight and uh, keep it onto the ground where she wins by control time. It's going to be kind of a boring fight, but um, that's what's going to happen. Mark my words. Moving on. Next we have, uh, once again, I'm moving on, not in order. Sean Woodson taking on Luis Saldana. Sean Woodson, the sniper, is 9-1 and one as a professional Minus 340 favorite. Once again, chalky, chalky favorite here against Luis Saldana. Luis Saldana, the Mexican fighter, comes in with a record of 16 and 7, and he is a plus 280 underdog. Okay, let's talk about the favorite in Sean Woodson first. Sean Woodson, coming off back-to-back uh, -back wins, he beat... Colin Anglin most recently by uh, hooks in round one. Then the sniper took out Yusef Zalal. Split decision, so it was kind of close. Yusef Zalal, he likes those close fights. Look, he just had that um, that uh, draw last uh, last weekend. Uh, before that, he did get beat by Juicy J. Julian Irosa by Dars Choke. And prior to that, he did he beat Kyle Bokniak in his UFC debut. And get this, he beat Terrence McKinney. Fantastic win for Sean Woodson. Beat him by flying knee in round two, and that was in the Contender Series. He's going to have a three-inch height advantage and a six-inch reach advantage over Luis Saldana. He's fighting out of uh, the Wolf's Den Training Center. Sean Woodson, the sniper is 30 years old to Saldana's 31. Uh, tail of the tape, everything <laughs> leading the way of Sean Woodson. I will remind you, he's got a three inch height advantage, six inch reach advantage. Let's talk about his opponent though, the Mexican fighter, Luis Saldana. Luis Saldana coming off a win against Bruno Souza by unanimous decision. I suppose that's good. Prior to that, he lost to Austin Lingo, unanimous decision. He had his UFC debut 
victory over Jordan Griffin. Unanimous decision. Looks like a decision area, right guys? Um, but easy. He did have a win over Vince Murdoch in the Contender Series by ground and pound round three. There you go. If you look at his Instagram, he highlights, he's got a highlight of that fight. Wow. And nice. before that, he beat uh, Carl Whitstock in the LFA. Good on you, Luis Saldana. Luis Saldana on Instagram, training with Eddie Cha over at Fight Ready. And he's been spotted training also. Training partner was uh, JSP, Jonathan Pierce. Pretty good. I like Fight Ready. It's a very good camp. Very good training facility for Luis Saldana. So anything can happen. Let's see what the handicappers have to say in this fight with the heavy favorite. Minus 340, Sean Woodson taking on Luis Saldana. All right. I'll make this kind of fast. You already know which way it's going to go. Sean Woodson taking him. We've got Artem. MMA analysis out of New Zealand taking Sean Woodson by decision. Then we've got uh, the MMA fortune teller. Brown, 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 brown. Also taking Sean Woodson. We've got Cody from Blood Money. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so be sure to tune in to um, Blood Money and Johnny K Picks do a live stream Wednesday night. I don't know, they switch back and forth to each other's channels. I don't know which one it's gonna be on, but definitely find that and watch it. I'll be in the chat, most likely. Then we've got uh, the MMA Guru, also taking Woodson, and finally, to cap off this, what's going on? Bleed MMA, also taking Sean Woodson to make this the second Full capper consensus on this card. Bam, bam. On the show, I mean. Second full capper consensus on the show. Now, if you bear with me, I am going to pause this quickly so I can write the um, third and final fight down onto the boards. Moving on. Next, we have. The welterweight fight between AJ Fletcher, the ghost, taking on Anja Lusa, the last ninja. You are the last ninja. I'm that's <laughs> it's actually from the last dragon, but uh, the last ninja. All right. Anyway, <laughs> AJ Fletcher comes in as the slight favorite, minus 155. Hope you guys can all see that. Um, record nine and one, coming off his. His one loss to Matt Semi the Jedi Semmelsberger. Matt Semmelsberger took him out uh, by unanimous decision. That was uh, Fletcher's UFC debut. Before that, he was undefeated, but uh, the opponents were man low level. I just want to—he's—he's he's kind of a glorified can crusher. Not really much in the in way of competition. Um, I'll mention, throw some names out there, but you're not going to know them. In the Contender Series, he beat Leonardo um, Damiani. Flying knee, though. He did do it with, with an exclamation point. Flying knee, round one, took care of business. Before that, he beat Ariel Juarez. Submission, round one. That was an AKA standing for American Combat Alliance. And that is a Louisiana... Um, regional scene because uh, AJ Fletcher trains out of the Gladiator Academy in Louisiana. Um, also, he's been training with uh, Dustin Poirier on Instagram. He was training. He's been since been training with Dustin Poirier even before his fight against Matt Semmelsberger. Dustin Poirier's always been there. Okay. Aside from the AK American Combat Alliance, he was in Icon, which is. Um, I think that's Jorge Masvidal's fight promotion, and uh, the event was in Mississippi, but I think it's kind of like a southern regional, like Mississippi, Florida. It travels around the south, icon fight, fighting, or something like that. Um, 
So, AJ Fletcher, if you look at his topology, I don't know if any of his past opponents, except for Matt Semmelsberger, even have a winning record. There might be one, but uh, I checked on one that, like, that I thought, but then you look at it, and nope, since the fight with Fletcher, he's lost, he's lost too. So, yeah, kind of can crush him over there. But, uh, same can almost be said, not quite, but almost be said by An about Angelusa. Angelusa is coming off his UFC debut loss to Monir Lazez by unanimous decision. Before that, he fought, he did beat uh, John Howard in the XMMA. Coincidentally, that is also a Louisiana regional scene, interesting enough. Um, before that, though, he did lose to his uh, U his Dana White Contender Series fight to Jack Della Maddalena. Jack Della Maddalena is a high upcoming prospect, looking very good as of recently. Um, and before that, he beat uh, some guy in Titan FC, which is a Florida regional. And he beat, that guy's name was uh, Colin Luberts, Luberts. And that was my split decision, not very good. Um, and prior to that, he lost to uh, this guy, Jonathan Thompson, by split decision in the LFA. So that's Angelusa. However, Angelusa is training out of Hillcliff, formerly known as Sanford MMA. So Henry Hooft and company down there training him up. He's been spotted on um, Instagram with training with Andre Fialho and uh, Brendan Allen, to name a couple that he's been over there with. Angelusa and AJ Fletcher, listen to this. They have the same height, but Angelusa has seven inch reach advantage. How does that even happen? How are you the same height, but you're, you got three and a half inches of length on each limb, on each uh, arm. I don't know. That's a, I don't know if it's abnorm abnormality or, or what. But um, nevertheless, this is the closest fight on this uh, Captain Comparison show. So I, I, and really, I'm still kind of torn. I'm excited to see what the cappers have to say, and I hope you are as well. Taking uh, the favorite, we start with the favorite first, AJ Fletcher. We've got Cody from Blood Money MMA. Cody is on the side of Fletcher. And he seems like he's pretty he's pretty strong with that side as well. Um, Angelusa taking him, we've got Bleed MMA. Bleed, very entertaining guy. I laugh a lot when I'm listening to his to his breakdowns. He just he's just funny. He's a he's kind of like a borderline comedian uh, capper. I like him. Um, then jump back over to AJ Fletcher. We've got the Teller MMA Fortune Teller, and he's saying by decision for Fletcher. Then we've got um, taking Angelusa. Got the MMA Guru. Yes, the popular one with the beanie from the UK. Another comedian, the funny guys. The funny guys taking Angelusa. And they both are very entertaining, both those guys. So we have Artem for the tiebreaker, Artem MMA analysis. And which way is he gonna go? He's on the side of AJ Fletcher. Artem, and Artem is saying he should get a decision over at Angelusa. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm also, see, I checked out the um, Instagram and they both show them, um, show them training. They're putting it in. Um, I, I give Lusa the better camp. He's at Kill Cliff, where Fletcher's at Gladiator something. What was it called? Gladiators, uh, Gladiators Academy in Louisiana. There's his training part. Well, he does have Dustin Poirier, but aside from that, no labeled pros. And Dustin Poirier is commuting from a. Uh, He's an actually American top team, Dustin Poirier, but they does show them training together. So Dustin Poirier, I'm, I'm assuming is, or he's brought him over, he brought AJ Fletcher, but that's not, no, that's not the case. Because I saw 
a post on Instagram from like three days ago, AJ Fletcher walking out of the Gladiator, Gladiators Academy. So I don't know if uh, Dustin Poirier is going there to train with him or they're meeting up at uh, ATT. I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, Angelusa, Killcliff, he's he's putting it in with uh, Andre Fialho, Brendan Allen. That's just to name a few. There's a couple other guys that are like um, not UFC that also are spotted in Instagram. But here's another thing from Instagram. AJ Fletcher has the aggression. He's, he's so aggro. He's hyped for this. He's pumped up where Angelusa looks too nonchalant. He's just too, he doesn't seem like he's he's ready for this fight where, where AJ Fletcher is like, he's looking like Nate the Train did last week. I'm telling you, you can see the fire in his eyes. That's why I'm also going to go, I'm going to stick with the Capra Majority here. I'm going to go with the favorite, AJ Fletcher. I like, I don't like he's got this seven inch reach disadvantage, but I do like that he comes with flying knees and and he the aggression. I like the aggression on AJ Fletcher. I think he wants it a little bit more, so I'm going to go with him to get this victory here. Um, I don't see, I don't think he's going to... Uh, finish Angelusa. I think he's more probably going to um, outpoint him. AJ Wrestler, AJ Fletcher does have some wrestling ability. I don't know his background. I don't know how he did in high school or if he, if he wrestled in college. I don't know that stuff. I should have looked it up, but um, I do know he does have wrestling. So I'm going to go with that. I think he's going to outstrike Lusa and his he might not all strike with volume, but the significant. He's going to have the power strikes. If he if he can land a flying knee, forget about it. <laughs> but I'm going to take him by decision to get it done over Angelusa. So to recap, time check. I can't see that. But to recap, I've got. Um, Miranda Maverick edging out a decision over Shauna Young, Shana, Shanimal, Shana Young. I've got Sean Woodson. How'd I say? That one's still on here, no? Oh, uh, well, I've got Sean Will Woodson getting done over Luis Saldana. I think he's going to actually, um, yeah, I think he's probably going to get a decision victory there that's how uh yeah these guys have been decisionators for the most part john woodson with my decision and finally i'm taking aj fletcher man unfortunately also by decision because like the one drawback about aj fletcher as i mentioned his level of competition hasn't been the greatest so i don't think he's going to be able to Put Angelusa away, but I like that he wants to. I like his will. He he has a quote. He's got one of his um his Instagram posts. It says, "Let's see your soul, Padna," and <laughs> directed to Angelusa. Awesome, awesome. Let's see your soul, Padna, meaning let's see your soul as in like your will to win. And uh, Angelusa, I don't see it. I don't see the fire in his eyes. I do see the fire in AJ Fletcher's eyes, so there you have it. Gather the info. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, gather the info, place those bets, and cash those tickets. Thanks for watching me in the mobile with the mobile whiteboard on the road. Thanks for watching me. I'm out of Woburn, Massachusetts today of course for work but uh, thanks for watching me out of the hotel tomorrow i will be returning home and stay tuned where i get into the select fights i do i am covering one main main card fight and two the remaining two prelim fights so stay tuned for that tomorrow good luck on your bets thanks for watching leave a comment guys leave a like and a comment go ahead and yeah, I gonna I'm gonna do something for the comment. I gotta do some sort of like prize. I I need more comments. I gotta get more active comments. 
please tell me your take on any of these fights. I'm gonna come up with something where I can, I'll give out like Amazon gift cards or something to the, to a commenter. I don't know. You know what? If you um, let's see. If you do uh, this is my three leg parlay. Woodson, Maverick, Fletcher. Uh, you can just mimic. You can tail me on that, and they're they're all the favorites too. So it's obvious. I don't know. Next week I'll or not next week. Tomorrow I'll think of some sort of uh, maybe some sort of like prize, some bait, so you guys can leave some damn comments. Leave the comments. I appreciate it. Thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow.